Hello programmers! Today I'm going to show you how to make a Connect4 game in Python. And we're going to start with a, just a text-based game. So let's get some inspiration by looking at a Connect4 board and you're going to want to count the number of columns and the number of rows. I'm counting six different rows and then seven different columns. So I started my program with variables for the number of rows and the number of columns. And we will use those later. But I also have nested lists, um, a board that is lists for each of the different rows. And if you combine those and nest them together, you've got a Connect4 board. So imagine that everywhere you see a zero is one of the empty spots in the Connect4 board. And everywhere where you see a one, that's where we've got a red chip. And everywhere where you see two, that's where you've got a yellow chip. So that is gonna be the basis for my program. Um, and then let's also think about, well, how would I access something like this number one? Well, it's at the very last available row, but the very first column. So I would access it with something like uh, board, that's the name of my variable. And then that is five and zero. And another way to say that would be um, the number of rows minus one. That's the same thing as saying five. And then whatever you, the user picks as far as which column they want, I want column one. Well, if you subtract one, that's column zero. I'm getting my number one there. So the next thing I want to do is write a function where the user can tell me which of these seven different columns do you want to put a chip in, and we will figure out where the next available spot is. So if they were to say, I want something in column one, the next available spot's right here. If they were, say, at column four, then the available spot's right at the very bottom. So we will make the chip fall all the way to the bottom, just like when you're playing Connect Four and you put a chip in, and then it goes all the way to the bottom. So let me pause this and do some typing so you don't have to just watch me type.